Hey guys, so very pleased to say that I'm finally on my road to looking like my idol Bert at the moment. Anyway, today's video is going to go over why you should film your sessions, how to deal with a bad training session, and a quick roundup of DUP, which is the training style that I'm doing at the moment. So, I make video logs, so I end up filming a lot of my work sets. And the reason is, you know, first of all, to make myself accountable and to provide some value to you guys. And secondly, to get a different perspective on uh, my work sets. So when you're doing um, a normal work set, you're looking in the mirror, you're only getting a single plane of, of feedback. And you're also not in the best mental state to analyze your technique at that time. So if you can... I've recently got a new phone where if you use the case you can set up the camera like that on a bench or something nearby and just get some additional feedback on things like squat depth here or the upper back position in my deadlift. And so you often pick up on technical flaws that you wouldn't normally have noticed or been aware of when you're just using the mirror as your main source of feedback. So start using your phone camera, film your work sets from different angles, start picking up on technical flaws and you can then work towards improving them. I've also included a couple of clips of a gymnastics session that I had last week, just taking advantage of the slow motion camera and having fun there. It's a shame, I'd like to train gymnastics more and it's the kind of thing that is much more suited to higher frequency and shorter duration sessions, but just because of convenience you've got to go relatively infrequently and uh, have a sort of two hour session, which isn't ideal because you're then training in a fatigued state and not drilling good technique, which also applies to your training in that if you're hammering the volume and trying to do a technical movement uh, <clears throat> CrossFit, then you're just going to be drilling bad technique. Anyway, looking at a few of these clips with the deadlift, I had a, a few days in a row where 210 kilos just wasn't moving and that's a weight that I should be able should be a sort of five rep max and I can I guess I can put it down to just being cold not properly warmed up walking to the gym in winter so I bought a pair of long johns and uh, I've just been wearing them and that made quite a big improvement but when you're dealing with these kind of bad sessions you trying to sort of push through it and risk injuring yourself versus just going home. I think there is a middle ground. And if you consider that total volume is the main priority that you should be aiming for, then say you're feeling stiff on a certain day, your back's feeling funny and you have to squat or you have to deadlift. You could either spend that day doing the assistance movements for that day and maybe the next day and then switch around some of your exercises or just do half of your session come back later for the remainder of it. Alternatively, switch some of the main movements. So let's say you come in, your back's feeling tight and you have to squat. Instead, why not bring forward some bench press that you've got programmed for the next day, delay your squat until then, or vice versa, if your shoulders are feeling tight and you have to bench, just delay that until later and try squatting that day instead. And as long as you're ticking those boxes and getting the, the work done throughout that week, it's not really a huge crime. So what I ended up doing for the deadlift after attempting it two days in a row and realizing that it just wasn't happening was I just matched the total volume with 180 kilos rather than 210. Uh, so I just did an extra set and then the total tonnage of set times reps times load was roughly matched. And that's kind of the best that you can do in that situation. And at least you're, you're getting 
most of the work done, even if it's not quite at the percentage that it was programmed at. Better than going home and doing nothing. Finally, I've just completed a 12-week cycle of daily undulating periodization DUP, which it, the, the main premise of the training style is that each day is dedicated to a specific attribute. So you'd have day one hypertrophy, which tends to be the main lifts for higher reps and say four sets of eight or four sets of ten, a speed day, uh, six sets of two at a lighter load, and then a strength day, and then the fourth day will be one of the other three. So it, it's good, and I'm liking it, and it's a good way to get the volume in, but what I've found from a lot of uh, fitness podcasts and stuff recently is that people seem to be looking at it as if it's some kind of magic pill. Now, generally with programs, you see them get waves of momentum and people leaving in hordes to go and do DUP, which is not something that I would recommend. It happened with 531 or um, power hypertrophy training, West Side, all these kind of things people just seem to get caught up in because some big name is doing it, like, like Yusuf from Propane Fitness. Uh, so what I would recommend is just pick something and stick to it, and that'll be a lot more effective. The Propane Protocol is a good place to start. I think there's nothing magical about DUP, and I've got no particular attachment to it. I have, I've got a little bit stronger throughout, but that may have just been the case with any kind of linear progression. It's, it's a good way to keep things interesting, and if you find that you get bored with using specific rep ranges, it might be worth trying. But ultimately, my message still stands of just pick a program, stick with it for at least six months, and then evaluate at the end of that whether it's worked for you or not. And ultimately, pick a program that you enjoy, because if that's what you're going to be coming in day in, day out, and doing in the gym, better to do something that is maybe slightly less optimal on paper, but if you enjoy it more and you're willing to apply yourself to it properly, you're probably going to get better results from it. So I hope those three things helped, and let me know your thoughts in the comments below.